Hey Toronto. We are the Heels. And you're watching Q&A with Lady K. Tell me a story. To meet you ladies. I feel, you. I feel like there's a huge surge of girl power right now in this room. Yes. <laughs> and congratulations on your debut album, Love Heals. Thank, Thank you. I love it. Um, like the tempos are upbeat, the songs are super catchy, and honestly, when I was listening to it, it just made me feel like I should jump in a car and go on a road trip with my best awesome. girlfriend. So, yeah. uh, what does this album mean to you? I, for, for me, it means growth and, uh, you know, empower, self-development, empowerment, um, the whole journey of discovering who you are and, and being, being okay with, you know, the struggles in life and finding the positivity in that. What, what were your goals or your intentions when you guys were creating this album? I think for us, it was really important to uh, stick to the songs that we were writing because we did have a lot of pressure to uh, take songs from different catalogs and we loved a lot of them, but we really just felt so much more heart and passion in the songs that we had written. And then we also had a goal to keep to the sound that we were aiming mm -hmm. for. And uh, we had different suggestions of maybe having like one lead singer on one song and then one lead singer on the other song. And we were like, no, we really want to switch it up and give the list that um, experience of this voice and then this voice and then this voice and keep things really uh, entertaining and, and changing throughout the songs and we we did we stuck to that goal and it helped us really find our own sound when we started to hear the tracks back in our first sort of reviews of the uh, the, the final uh, recordings we were so stoked. Actually, we were here in in, uh, in, in Toronto, Toronto. and we rolled down all the windows, and we're like, "Listen <laughs> to the world!" Yeah, yeah. It's like the 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 bare like tracks. Yeah, know? and just and just the first like listen that we had, and we were so excited. Yeah, and but, even sometimes we were like, "Who is that singing?" <laughs> because what um, our producer did is he we found like a new sound of ours at some points in the song, yeah. which you'll hear um, when it's just me and Bobby on the on the melody and then Kyla does harmony so then when it's two voices it's you well sometimes it's just one person but there's like a Brits and Bob's voice yeah so there's we really have like four voices in this <laughs> talked about um, developing your sound. All three of you had careers before you came together yes. and your own sound. So how, how was it coming together and making a sound for a trio? Uh, I found it quite easy. Yeah. <laughs> like, we just stuck to, to who we are as individuals and we just combined that sound together and didn't change what was coming out naturally. I don't even think we thought about, oh, let's sound like this person or let's try to mold ourselves into this kind of idea or package. We just really are each individual strong female people in yes. general. And I think we didn't want to change that and we just went with it, rolled with it, and then this is actually the authentic outcome so that's awesome yeah. because your voices all complement each other and and it's just I mean I don't I don't think that always happens right when three people just come together and yeah and we all come from different genres of music backgrounds yeah. so they just mesh well together somehow we created yeah, our own mesh. little it was yeah. meant to be <laughs> yeah now how how did the three of you come together and form the heels uh well Kyla owns a cafe and I was working at it, and Bobby was a regular customer. And uh, we all sang individually, and we just decided, I don't even know how it happened. We just got together. We started getting together after work, yeah. writing. We didn't even start writing. We just started playing music to feel good. 
Um, like at, at the cafe? Yeah. Like after hours we would, we would stay after work and play music and we didn't even really know each other very well. We just, (laughs) we just, it just started like working and then we started playing at Christmas concerts. Yeah. It was just like music therapy and, uh, and it was like addicting. Like we're like, this is working. Like we feel so good and we wanted to share it with everybody. So, and uh, and when was this? This was like three and a half years ago. Oh wow. Yeah. And then and then we shared it with Christmas music and then we just started writing and harmonizing and it just snowballed and like worked just so fluidly. Uh, and who came up with the name The Heels? It was uh, actually, I don't remember who came up with it, but we started as H-E-A-L-S um, for healing. Yeah. And we changed it to Heels because it's fun and we started feeling happy and excited and mm. it's, it's pumped country. Up. And, pumped yeah, it's pumped up. Yes. <laughs> And well, I think it, it's cool because it right away you're like that's a female band. Yes. Like when you when you see it on a bill of something. Yeah. Yes. Bye bye. Save you the trouble. Don't sugarcoat nothing when it comes to me. I'm fine. Don't need a double on the road all alone, and it's fine by me. I'm hitting the road, Jack. Key in the ignition. High heel. Distance, listen. You, you can, can hear me say it. Bye bye. Save you the trouble. Don't sugarcoat nothing when it comes to me. I'm fine. Don't need a double on the road all alone, and it's fine by me. Being an all female band, what challenges um, have you faced or maybe continue to still face? My, my challenge, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll be right honest. It's wearing heels. I'm like, I'm in training heels. Bobby's a pro and Brittany's a pro. So I'm, I, I'm always like, I'm in training heels. <laughs> but yeah, for me, it's it's uh, basically, you know, just, just having that energy all the time. Like we're naturally really positive, upbeat people. Um, but when you're going back, back, back to back all day, I find that's, you know, just to maintain yes. that, that's a little bit tricky, but we do pump each other up, which mm-hmm. really helps. And having a solo career, I found it really hard because we all come from solo careers, as we said, but I found it tricky to, you know, pump myself up. So I think, I think it, yeah. Yeah. I think right now too, the country music industry has really been focused on a lot of male artists yes. and, uh, the airplay, like I noticed the station that I listen to at home, you'll hear probably like about four or five male songs and you'll hear one female song. Right. And then, uh, so I think that's been a challenge for us. We it's just, it. we did. <laughs> it's called we can country because women can country too. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah. an issue we generally write a song about it yeah. true <laughs> yes so we just felt that there was that missing gap in the 90s country music was so driven by females yes. there was faith hill shania yeah. twain mm-hmm. leanne rhymes all of these uh talented females and now i even notice we'll look at a lot of the posters of some of the big festivals and there'll maybe be one female face yes yeah. there's a lot of male headlines and we and love men oh, don't yeah. get yeah. us wrong yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But we do think that, you know, as young women coming into the music industry, it was nice to have those strong female artists to look up to. So for other young women that are coming up into, or even just bands of Mm -hmm. music, there there needs to be those strong, powerful women represented at festivals on the radio. And so that's our goal. (laughs) And everyone can follow you on social media, right? Yeah, The Heels Music. The Heels Music, Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Well, I'd like to give a big thanks to Strat Entertainment for facilitating yeah. this interview. And literally between the three of you, Leia behind the camera and Sam at Strat, this interview would not have happened if it wasn't for strong, talented women. Aw, um, thank you. And yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for having us. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I'm watching you. In 2016, we were going to the BC Country Music Awards, and we were trying to think of like what we could wear. And we generally wear black 
And up until that point, we had always wore black. It was just easy to, to match, and I feel like we all had to wear black at work. And so when we were starting out, yeah. we had to come straight from work, and we're like, we're wearing black, because that's what I'm in already. And then uh, when we were going to the awards, we wanted something brighter and, and something that would really stand out. And so I think it was Kyla came up with the idea that the primary colors just look so um, like bold next to each other. And then we kind of, right away, we said, you know, this one reminds me of you, and this one reminds me of you and it yeah like, it just, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so then we like finding yellow clothes at that time was really a challenge <laughs> yeah. but now yellow is everywhere yeah, it's weird it like yeah. in the fall too. Mm -hmm. yes yeah. yeah, so there was oh. no yellow but I did find something anyway <laughs> off topic um, we ended up winning the award we felt like it was a huge good luck charm for us and then when we really started thinking about it we were like the, like the brilliance behind your idea that you know the primary colors make up every color of the spectrum and our album it really hits every color and emotion like all of the different sides that we think because there's definitely songs that are in your face hard-hitting confidence and then there's songs that come from a little bit more of um, you know like a timid kind of, of emotion so we really show all of those different colors on the album and yeah it's like a rainbow of emotions yeah, yeah. Abracadabra, let me see more Lady K videos now. It worked. There's more magic right over there. Click it. Click it before it disappears. <laughs>